fantastic course at Buckinghamshire. It's a, it's a lovely track. Everyone's uh, everyone's raving about it. Um, don't think the standard of golf is, is living up to the standard of the course yet, but uh, it's a great event. They've put it on really well. Um, don't think anyone's going to win that hole in one competition, but uh, no, they've done well. It's a great day. Well, as always, Australia's chokers. Um, so well, hang on, hang on. Huey has been on the fairway a lot. Um, fair play to him, he's driven very, very well. Except he hasn't been on a green yet in regulation, which is a, a slight problem. Uh, it's the only time I've actually wanted him to be in the green in regulation as we're playing for a team. But Huey's all about himself. Um, it's been very tough to get him into the team mentality. Well, that's not true. Hang on, <laughs> that's not true. I have hit every fairway pretty much, but you have hit every fairway. <laughs> and you have not been on, on the green in regulation either. So I think you hit around about a 50 in the, first, in the front nine for <laughs> I know, it's 10 over on the front. Fact. He was talking to a reporter for six holes before <laughs> he even started talking to us. Mess with my game. Great guy to have on our team. <laughs> I can't answer that, that's my point. <laughs> Very tough course. Uh, there's a lot of rough out there, and the uh, the greens don't seem to be uh, very flat. So um, it's been a, been a tough day, but um, you know I've scored pretty well, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but we'll see at the end of the day. Competitions rife today between the scrum half, but who do you think will end up in the rough? Uh, I think I'm a given for sure. So Ollie, how have you found the course today? Uh, well, we are, we've got a last hole to play um, and I think we've been playing for about seven or eight hours. Um, so yeah, it's going really well. We've really, we've really nailed it this course. We're delighted we've come to a new venue this year. It's slightly more accessible for our players. We've had a number of guys from Gloucester coming down. And, and the golf day in the Rugby Open is really important to us, not only to spend time with players, because that's what we do and that's what people love to do and spend four or five hours on the course and over breakfast and, and, and lunch, but also we're raising money for Restart, which is the official charity of the Rugby Players Association. And, you know, I think sometimes in a professional environment you don't get to spend enough time with the guys who actually make the game tick. And that's what we're all about today. We're very fortunate to have a number of business partners uh, supporting the day, BMW, LG, Pro Sport Insurance is the main partner here today. So Kevin, first and foremost, how have you found today? Uh, it's been fantastic, the location has been excellent, uh, the uh, support from the RPA and its members, and um, we just had an excellent day, and, the, and to cap it all, the weather's been absolutely superb, no rain at all. Nick, so obviously declared champion, talks to your victory and you're happy with your 42 uh, inch LG TV? I'll tell you who's going to be pretty happy is the missus is going to be pretty happy, I think she's got a new TV uh, to keep the baby occupied, but I um, oh, know fantastic, uh, seemed pretty close there with uh, Dicko uh, at the end there, but uh, on countback or however they work that, managed to go my way, so uh, nah, pretty happy, it's a fantastic day, uh, fantastic course and for a great fall. So Damien, it's been an incredibly successful day, but the question that we all want to know the answer to is, talk us through that shot on the ninth hole. Patrick, just remind me who employs you.